Hey guys, welcome to Code Box Automation Lab. This is Shorefo. Today's video is about to know how to choose an automation framework. As an automation engineer or developer, it's not only that you know different types of frameworks across our industry, but also you have to know, you know, what would be the best framework for your project. It's a very important question, right? So how to choose the right testing framework for your project. So let's see, uh, you know, so what is a framework? So a testing automation framework is a set of concepts, rules, rules and best practices which can follow in a systematic way to achieve the desired result. Okay, that's the simple definition I can tell about the automation framework. And we know there is a different types of automation framework uh, in, in our industry. Example, data-driven framework, keyword to driven framework hybrid framework page object pattern framework which is uh, the recent added to automation framework please check my other video you know that where I discuss about the different uh, 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 framework in details but this video is about to know you know how what would be the best way to choose the uh, right framework for your project so there are several expect as a developer you know when they choose the testing automation framework for their project they have to think few important key, key points before they choose the right framework number one I would say adaptability this is one of the top criteria for a framework to choose how easy to adapt its nature considering build deploy and user learning curve focusing on the complexity of the framework and development language so what would, what language you're going to use in your framework that's also one of the important part for adaptability okay number two reusability a key value of the test automation framework that allow you to reuse the same code again and again whenever it needs for doing the same type of job or function so this is a reusability it's very important you know you have to think uh, uh, you know it's, uh, very deeply that uh, you know how we can optimize it, you know your code in your framework if your frameworks allow that kind of opportunity that you can uh, reuse your code again again same type of code again and again for doing the same job other than writing the same code you know multiple times that's one of the key point when you choose your framework if your frameworks allow that kind of features you know that's uh, you definitely you can think about that framework the next is reporting the ability of a framework to produce reporting details but also logging information right so you know different activities when you do through your script you know that's uh, your logging information that's why you log information is very important so you have to confirm that your framework uh, have the ability it, to get the logging information as well ability to transform reports to different format so that you can send that report to your manager as an email format in a, as a picture format image format all different format right then extensibility whether the framework can be extended in case it lacks a key features how it integrates with other frameworks or component under test how many libraries are available and whether it's easy to create various scenarios or test cases for scenarios right so extend extensibility is it's another features like you have to uh, confirm before you choose your framework that if you need to adapt you know another uh, framework that you can add on with or you can add it you know add that features with your existing framework say example everybody knows like you know the hybrid framework is the combination of data driven framework and keyword driven framework so if you know your framework if you choose the hybrid framework you know that's you will get the benefit uh, features from the data driven as well as keyword uh, a driven framework so that hybrid frameworks that it's a, it's it's one of the extensible you know uh, framework then 
supported various environment and platform you have to confirm that your framework also support different operating system uh, as well as different browser as well as it's, it's support different language too that's give you very dynamic options then integration with CI CI is continuous integration so so you have to also think about because nowadays it's uh, uh, everything is, is based on cloud based so you know, it's, and CI/CD tools is very important uh, nowadays. It's based on an agile process, so you have to also also think your framework can integrate, can work with CI/CD tools like Jenkins and other standard tools in the market. The next one, it's readability. So readability means like easy to read the code following coding standard. You know, it's, uh, example uses comments, indentation, and so on that makes very smooth you know reading uh, readability your code the next one it's easy maintenance this part is very important because in a framework you know uh, it's uh, it, you spend lots of times you know to maintain your framework when you develop a automation framework so you have to uh, confirm that is you have to choose the right framework that will ha that will give you central control of what makes easy to read the code change update and maintains and the lastly support the supported means the community support available through online social media and blog for a particular test automation framework using existing documentation video tutorials available to help leverage all the benefit related to that framework so support is very important features because you know it's a, uh, you may get stuck uh, stuck some problems so if you need some support you can just search on online check on YouTube videos you can find some relatives related blocks you know it's, if you have a framework based on available support it will make your life much more easier okay guys so all those are the main uh, key features that you have to think and you have to consider uh, uh, you know when you select your framework for your project thank you guys that's all for today and I will see you in next video